another feature that actually uh, popped out at me, and this actually talks to the iPad. Um, and I just want to take a step back and mention that after I gotten the M1 MacBook Pro, I actually find I'm not using the iPad that much because the uh, the Mac has become just as responsive. Um, you, you know, you, I would reach for the iPad when I would get frustrated in the past with uh, the the fans spinning up and things not going as quickly on the Mac um, as what they did on the iPad. But now they're on parity in that respect, thanks to the um, M class chips. And it made me wonder, well, what's happening with the iPad? Because I haven't really iterated that much um, in the software to make it like why why do we have this thing? The one feature that they did introduce, which unfortunately is only exclusive to the M1 iPads. Um, but at least it's there, is the full external display um, support and also this feature called Stage Manager, which effectively allows multi-window support while using uh, the iPad. So effectively, it created a more Mac OS-like experience without it being Mac OS so that it was still a distinct iPad sort of interface. I actually was quite excited by that because um, my next iteration of my setup here is, like, like I was mentioning before, a monitor on the desk that I then just bring a device to and plug it in, which means the iPad and the Mac could then be plugged into that setup um, because now that this iPad's going to get um, you know, the uh, external display support. Yeah, it's interesting you made that comment at the start because I haven't used an iPad since I got my <laughs> MacBook Pro with the M1. I I love my I love my MacBook Pro. I've said that a number of times, you know. So yeah, it's really interesting to hear about your experiences with the iPad because I've left it behind. I, I find I find the MacBook Pro to be you know just as easy to browse. It doesn't warm your lap up. Uh, like a PC or anything like that. It's great. It's quiet. It's quick. Everything. But, but I think you're right. I think you know. Even I myself now finding myself moving to that. You know where you know you want a small sort of lap laptop or you know something you can sit on your lap in front of you know the TV or whatever. You know, browse, do whatever you want, and then when you want to do some work, you want to just be able to connect seamlessly with a screen and uh, use that larger format. So that's definitely, you know, you can see now that Apple's really starting to not just say that you can use this device wirelessly with a screen, but to really, you know, deepen the experience when when you do. 